lizards it probably is not supposed to be here. These are from Africa, apparently. Uh, they're not probably not supposed to be in Miami, but you know. And I really want to catch them. I really want to catch them. All right, so we have the mystery lizard. I have no idea what this lizard is. He's really pretty, but uh, he's just a mystery. I've searched all over and I have not, can't figure out what he is. I mean, he's got, he's pretty. Every time I look up something that's similar to him, it's always in the gamma, and it's definitely not that. I have no idea if this is invasive or not, but, you know, I'm gonna let him go. Well, let's, uh, Decent size. He kind of looks like a uh, like a fence lizard, but they're fast. All right. I'm sorry for the bad uh, quality, uh, quality for the uh, sound, but I may have just uh, found one of the most dangerous toads in the world. The cane toad. Look at that. Eat one of these suckers, and you'll be dead. Very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Big he is. Oh. So here's another, another huge cane toad. This one's even bigger than the last one. Man, these things are huge. Look at how tremendously bunjo, or jumbo, bunjo, <laughs> jumbo size these things are. And they're everywhere too. I gotta wash my hands again. Okay, these things will knock you out. Poison. Found another cane toad. This one is uh, a lot darker than the others. It's like a really dark gray, but same size as the others. That's my foot up next to him. Really, really, really large. He probably sees my hand. All right, let's see if I can actually grab him. Oh, I got him. Oh, I did have him. I missed him. Oh, there he is. Right there. I'm probably. All right, I can get him. Let me get this flower out of the way. You're in the shot. Okay, I can grab him. them again. Oh well it's not that important. Well accidentally found a bird's nest. There's mama bird right there. Hello. There I'm gonna leave her alone. Better get out of this uh, shrubbery here. I don't want to bother her at night. Bother her at night. It's not a good idea. Well next stop. Pavilion. Hopefully I'll find something in these bushes here. And these shrubs. I'll be back if I do find anything. Well, I uh, found another anole just sleeping in a bush. I'll let him go. So, yeah. Found him over here. There he is. Yeah. I'm gonna keep looking. Not finding much. It's a brown basilisk.
watch him run. He'll run up. He'll stand up on both feet, on his hind feet. Cool thing about these brown basilisks are they run on top of water. It's very cool. You can see his little fat on his But yeah, this uh, northern curly-tailed lizard, it's a very uh, cool-looking lizard. Its tail will curl backwards. I'll show some pictures up of uh, curly tails doing that. And uh, they were introduced here to deal with pests a long time ago. And they're actually from, uh, like, the Caribbean and those sorts of areas, uh, like the Bahamas. So really, they're not supposed to be in Florida. I'm sure they mess with native populations of uh, maybe anoles, green, uh, green anoles, and uh, yeah, he's a very feisty lizard. Look at that. He's uh, pretty big. So, yeah, look at that face. Yeah, very interesting looking face. It reminds me of a miniature tegu, which are also invasive here. I should mention. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this guy go. Watch him, he's fast. Yeah, he saw his tail curl backwards. Yeah, see it? Right now I have one of my most favorite species of lizards. This is the Mediterranean gecko. Look at that. These are, geckos are like some of my most favorite reptiles besides snakes, of course. Look at that, how prehistoric they look. These guys are amazing, they can climb up walls mainly because of their specialized toe pads, which use an electric charge to fuse their feet to the wall. It's pretty neat, like when you rub a balloon up against your hair. These guys are actually from Europe and Africa, but they're found here in Florida to, to, to uh, invasive species, and you know, probably because of, I doubt the pet trade, but I had to guess uh, importing accidentally. It's a pretty small one, but they get a, a bit larger than this. They're really something. I love them. Look at that. You can see their eyes through there their skin on their head. They have kind of semi-translucent skin, which is really cool. Again, these guys are very, very fragile, so you have to be very careful with catching them. And very skittish, too. Very hard to catch. There he goes. Really fast. This is the Cuban tree frog, native to Cuba and the Bahamas. And of course, it's invasive here in Florida. They actually uh, get a, quite a bit larger than this. Uh, this is him compared to my hand. Never handle frogs. Always keep your hands. These guys are like loaded springs. Watch them. Watch them. Oh, right into the sink. Get this out of here. Look at that. Alright, I just discovered the most coolest.
closely you look. That right there, that eye shine, that is a Tokei Gecko. This thing is massive. He is humongous. Whoa! He's huge! Wow! You have no idea. Its head was like this big. These geckos are also known as the bulldog geckos because they can latch on and draw blood and they hardly ever let go. <clears throat> That's why I'm not gonna attempt to catch that. Look at that little baby. And man, mama, big mama right there. Oh yeah. That thing is the biggest alligator I've ever seen. I can't get over how massive. That thing's gotta be really old. Alligators can live up to 80 to 100 years. It's crazy. Oh, there's a little gar in the water. 